So let's take a look at finding area under parametric curves. And so the formula for this is the area is going to be equal to the integral from a to b of y of t, so your y equation in terms of t, multiplied by x prime of t, so the derivative of the x equation in terms of t dt. And so remember your a and b bounds are going to be both in terms of t. So let's say for number one, the x equation in terms of t is 4t cubed minus t squared, and the y equation is t to the fourth plus 2t squared, and our t bounds are from 1 to 3. So once again, the formula for the area is going to be equal to the integral from a to b of y of t times x prime of t, dt. And so we can go ahead and write out the integral here. So our, the area for this specific equation here is going to be the integral from a to b, so from 1 to 3. Those are our t bounds of y of t. So our y equation is t to the fourth plus 2t squared times x prime of t. So we're given what x equals. We need to know what x prime equals, so we can simply just derive it. And so the derivative, if x equals 4t cubed minus t squared, x prime, the derivative is going to be 12t squared minus 2t. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that here. We have dt. And so to evaluate this integral, we can just FOIL. So once I FOIL, we'll get the integral from 1 to 3 of 12t to the 6th minus 2t to the 5th plus 24t to the 4th and then minus 4t cubed. And so when I integrate, I'll get 12t to the 7th over 7 minus 2t to the 6th over 6 plus 24t to the 5th over 5 and then minus 4t to the 4th over 4. So then to simplify it a little bit, we still get 12t to the 7th over 7. 2t to the 6th over 6 simplifies to t to the 6th over 3 because 2 over 6 is 1 over 3. We get 24t to the 5th over 5 and then 4t to the 4th over 4 is obviously just t to the 4th. And so once again, we're going to evaluate this from the t-bounds of 1 to 3. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my calculator to evaluate this. And so when you use your calculator, you should get exactly 481,568 over 105 as the area under these two parametric curves. And so for number 2, we have x equals 3 minus cosine cubed of t y is going to equal 4 plus sine of t, and their t-bounds are from 0 to pi. So the area formula for this is going to be the integral. Now our t-bounds are from 0 to pi, so a is 0, b is pi. And so for y of t, y of t is obviously just 4 plus sine of t times x prime of t. So we're given x, we need to find x prime. So if x equals 3 minus cosine cubed of t, then x prime is just negative 3 cosine squared of t times the derivative of cosine of t, which is negative sine of t. So then to evaluate the negatives will cancel. We'll get 3 cosine squared of t times sine of t as the x prime of t equation. And so we can go ahead and plug that in here. So x prime of t is 3 cosine squared of t sine of t. And so for this, I'm just going to evaluate by using a calculator. And so when you do that, you should get around 9.178 as the final answer for the area.